Okay, well, we did another very necessary uh, little item for installing a camper uh, on a truck, and that's to make sure that there's bearing between the top of the bed and the uh, overhanging parts of the camper so that when, <coughs> excuse me, when the camper moves, the whole truck moves. This thing cannot rock on back and forth inside the bed anymore. And uh, really all I did <coughs> was <coughs> measure the gap on both sides and uh, build up some pieces of wood. In this case, I needed an inch and a quarter. So I had a piece of one by, that's three quarters of an inch, had some half inch marine plywood, add that together, you get an inch and a quarter. And that is just a wedged fit in there. It's, uh, what am I looking at? There it is, somewhere, somewhere there. Damn, I can't see anything. There we go, get this stupid thing out of the way. There it is. Um, so that the camper doesn't rock uh, inside the bed. Um, the other thing we did was in install these uh, eye bolts. So, or these, yeah, these eye bolts. So uh, the, uh, what do you call it, turnbuckles can uh, tie the thing down in here. And uh, these ones here, uh, keep the thing from sliding back and they hold it down and the ones in the front pull straight down like that and keep the camper from uh, jumping out of the bed. So that's the basic uh, thing. Uh, but those two little things are really important. Uh, you want this thing to be solidly attached to the truck. So when the camper moves, the truck moves. When the truck moves, the camper moves. And all of the uh, eyeballs have to do is hold it in there securely. They're not fighting the thing rattling around in the back of the truck. So if you're coming to buy a camper and you haven't got any tie downs to your bed or to your frame, and you're not sure about uh, uh, the distance uh, here, uh, in, in this case, um, I've got a, about a quarter of an inch thick piece of uh, rubber mat on the bottom of the, the uh, bed because if water accumulated in there, I didn't want the bottom of the camper wet. For some reason, this camper did not have a plywood bottom on it. It was just the framing, so I got a piece of half-inch marine ply and put it under there. So those two things raise it up about three-quarters of an inch, more or less. But, um, you know, I had an inch and a quarter difference, so there was, there was a, a half an inch uh, shim that I was going to need anyway. So no matter what truck and co camper combination you have, you're going to have some difficulties that way, and you're going to make up uh, the difference if the bed of the camper is too deep, you're going to put some wood under the camper and raise it up a little bit, and uh, if it's, uh, the camper is deeper than the bed of the truck, then you're going to put some shims here so that it can't, it can't rock in a truck. It ain't no big deal. The, the measurements you got to look at is you got to look at the depth of the bed versus the depth of the camper. You got to look at this distance here from from here up to here for the clearance of your cab. If that's not quite right, you're going to have to change it with some wood underneath the camper to get some clearance. Here you see I've got quite a bit of clearance. I've got an inch and a half of clearance here, which is good. So those are the things you got to do.